Welcome to Novell, where we are making IT work as one. Today we'd like to introduce you to one of Novell's Quick Fix on-demand training modules. This Quick Fix training shows you how you can quickly configure a Linux high availability cluster on SLES 10. Ron Terry will be the presenter for this video. The steps for configuring an XHA are actually quite straightforward. The first step is simply to install the Heartbeat service on all the cluster nodes. The second step is to configure Heartbeat on only one cluster node. The third step is to propagate the cluster configuration between all cluster nodes. And the fourth step is to then start the Heartbeat daemon on all cluster nodes. Now in the fourth step, it's actually uh, best to start the Heartbeat on or the Heartbeat cluster on a single node, wait for the cluster to come up on that node, then start the next node, wait for the cluster to come up on that node, and so on and so forth until all your nodes are up and joined. The steps to configuring Linux HA cluster really fall into three different main areas. You have configuring the cluster manager, you have configuring storage, and then you have configuring the resources. In this section, we will be focusing on the first area, configuring the cluster manager, and really focusing on two main areas, configuring heartbeat and doing some preliminary setup. You are watching a small portion of a Novell Quick Fix on-demand training module. This actual module contains all the necessary information that you will need. Let's continue. Configuring the Linux HA cluster falls into two basic steps. The first step is to configure the cluster on one node. The utility you will use to do this is the YAST high availability module. The second step is to propagate the cluster configuration from that first node to the other cluster nodes. The utilities used to do this will be HA propagate which uses SSH and SCP. You may also just use SSH or SCP by themselves as well. Now it's important that you actually configure the cluster only on one node first and then propagate the configuration to the other nodes because if you try to go through and configure the cluster on each node where it is possible, you may actually introduce typographical errors or other problems on different nodes you don't realize which will actually cause the cluster to not come up uh, and function properly. So again, you configure it on one node first and then propagate the configuration to the other nodes in the cluster. In SUSE Linux, we have created a YAST module called the YAST High Availability Module to help you perform the initial configuration of your Linux HA cluster. The way you launch the YAST High Availability Module is simply opening the YAST2 Control Center and selecting the High Availability Module. The information you have just reviewed is part of the Quick Fix on-demand training which includes configuration information, all necessary files with their locations, discussion of the high availability cluster, and all pertinent information to step you through the entire process. Thanks for joining us for this Novell On-Demand Training Module Overview. For further information on Novell's On-Demand Training and how to purchase this and other Novell Quick Fix On-Demand Training, please click on the URL provided to the right of this video in the description box.